So it's official. What's official? This is sponsored by Go nah, Go you got, me fucked up. <laughs> you got me fucked up. I gotta eat my baby food. Okay? All right, listen, they don't pay me no money. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> pay us money. That's all we eat. It's got electrolytes. Welcome back. This is Hema House Raleigh. Raleigh Open. 2027. Something like that. 2024. 2024. You'll see the date when we publish it. I'm here with Casey McClellan. We were just at the event. We were just watching Saber. Saber was legit. Like, they did three pools, um, Swiss pools. So they rotated after every, I guess, was it pool? All right. So multiple pools. Yeah. Three fights, um, three pools. Like 25 people. And like, like base level. Like the skill ceiling was already high, right? Coming out the gate, it was like an invitational saber, and uh, yeah, you could tell it. You could tell it. Yeah, I was watching. What up, Will? Yeah, yeah. Will joining us on the couch now. Now I'm gonna tell you, keep your head about right here because the mic's right here and it's a little sensitive. So now we have plopping down on the couch. What do we got, Will? What's up, Will? How'd you enjoy watching the little bit of saber? You came in a little late, but yeah, I really just got the tail end of it, but. No, it looked good. Yeah, how you feeling about tomorrow? You in tier B, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Pretty chill. Yeah. I feel like after Queens, how close it's been since Queens, it's like the tournament jitters are over. Now it's just yeah. show up and fight. Yeah, I always dread it going into it. I always, I bitch, 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 bitch about it before I like show up to something. Then I get here and I'm fine, so it's just like, I, uh, it's like bullshit. I'll be like freaking out on the drive up. Or like the week before, or like the month before. Um, yeah, and that then was me at Judo State Comp. As I soon as it's like, yeah. fence, I'm okay. Yeah, All right. It's like once you get to the point where you can't do anything about it, you kind of stop stressing. Florida had nerves in the ring, which I didn't have at Queens, but I knew everybody at Queens. The same thing happened on the Judo State Comp. When I was at, I was dude, I was like screaming, crying, fucking dying on the way to the Judo Comp. <laughs> I thought I was going to get waxed, but I showed up. I got on the mat. I was nervous, but I didn't even throw nobody. I just decided that I wanted to fucking... He pulled guard. <laughs> I basically pulled guard. Yeah, I pulled guard pretty much. It hit, like, I accidentally slammed someone on their on their front side, which is not cool. Now, I was joking, but, like, can you pull guard in a judo match? According to the Olympic, if you watch the Olympics, yeah. I was under the impression that you eep on yourself when you do that, but I watched the Olympics, and that shit was nutty as fuck. I know there are, like, specific throws where it looks like guard, but it's not. It, yeah, there's a lot of, like, people that look like they went for a sumigashi and they just decided to land. But, I mean, the person that they'd be trying to throw would still be fully standing up. They'd get, like, a not yellow card or something. Or yeah, not, not even. But, uh, so Raleigh Open's got some grappling. You think you're going to get into the grapple? Any of you? We'll see. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, I hope not, right? Because... I'm already going to be exhausted. I'm already going to be tired. Like, don't touch me, bro. I feel uncomfortable. That's not. Nah. I'm so fucking wrecked. Like, my knees are fucked. What'd you do with your knees? Fucked. I know he's wearing that brace. <laughs> I'm about to have, I'm about to be KT tape man for oh, a day. I'm no. about to look like the Michelin tire man walk around. Got so much freaking shit on me. Nah, like, I threw out my ass the other day fighting at him. So I gotta tape up my ass too. I don't what even do you know do? where to what do you do? Well, you a I went muscle. for a I went for a shin snipe and then my my butt said nah. What one of those to the shins? No, guy guy slings fucking ban. Okay, yeah, for all the open. Yeah, yeah. one handed strikes and cuts, strikes or thrusts. You have to be in the grapple to do them, right? Uh, yeah. So you gotta be like tied up. There you go. So what do you mean you pulled your ass? Are you talking about like your gluteus <laughs> maximum? Like just something in my ass or oh on the side of it, like. Are you like, like this are way? Are you hurts. freaking like inverted down there? Am I inverted down there? Is my ass inverted? Is <laughs> yeah. that what you just asked me? <laughs> this is like, a great I time mean, for John to walk in and talk about my ass. No, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I like obviously I want to throw people, but I'm hurting, bro. Like I've been hand sniping lately. Anyway, I don't get cards no more. Grappling and I do pretty good. I do pretty good. I mean, like the grapple ain't gonna be difficult. I'm in there. Like, I'm gonna just hit fucking ankle picks and single legs and shit. <sighs> It's just exhausting, though, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, man, I got to reach all the way down there and grab and try. I'm going to see if I can shoot from space. Shoot, like, a long-range double leg? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my like, God. Like, just cover and like, hit a double leg. <laughs> 
I think it'd be funny. That's why I, I kind of did that last year. The thing is, is like if you're gonna grapple, you have to do that off the yeah, first you rip. You gotta right? do that off the rip. And you so, can't you can't waste time. That goes for judo. That goes for wrestling. Yeah. You have to go 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 go. You have to throw everything and the kitchen sink at them twice. I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. At what point in time would you be exposing the back of your head during a double leg takedown? Probably the whole time. Probably the whole time. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, because right? you're not gonna shoot a double leg looking up. That's the only you should, way. Though. I mean, like if so you're, you don't get choked out. I mean, if you're already in there, but if if you're shooting from like three steps away, I'm not gonna be running up to you like not exposed. I try to take about right here and shove it in their belly or chest. That makes sense. And usually, I'll try to frame high, about stomach to chest, and usually I hit a single. But um, as long as you as long as you pin their shit on the way in. You just, you don't really have that issue. No, yeah. not really. I think I think what the issue is is I'm old and slow now. Now you still got it though. Do, you still got it. I don't want to do a double leg. leg. I don't yeah, want to do a double leg. leg from like twenty feet away. But you'll jump in the middle of a fucking sword fight. Bro. That's easy though. I can just be like. <laughs> right, I feel grappling, like I gotta be like. I would get way more tired jumping than grappling. Easy. But I'm also I like to grapple, so. You also don't have to move with as much mass as I have to move. Yeah, I'm also 20. I hope you win some shit tomorrow. It's your time. You in tier B? You should slaughter. We'll see. Are you doing two sword, right? Yeah. How you feel about that? That's what I want to hear about because that's that's mainly your shit. That's really what you want to do, right? I mean, I'm excited because of like the the like limitation and like backing up. Because that's, yeah. that's still stuff the, that I the do. The cowardly like, uh, yeah, yeah. retreat. I'm just treating it like a game. I'm just going to show up and be like, how few penalties can I get? And then wins, losses, they'll come and go. Uh, the way the rules read to me is as long as you throw a counterattack, like on a retreat or like on a pass back, it's not technically a penalty. That's how I read it. Yeah. Where you have you can't just step out of range for no reason. You have to like engage uh, parry and then counterattack. Yeah, yeah which, so not just like not just covering the sword on the way out. Yeah, it's got to go towards. That's that. that's how I read it. I could yeah. be wrong. John, you want in? Yeah, sure. All right, it's good. What's going on? Now I'm just unnecessary. Can you put this up. like? Oh, actually, hold on. You yeah. Do nothing. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, boy. how you feel about tomorrow, John T. Ray? Right. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. I looked at that list. That's a bunch of yeah. It's a shark tank. Crazy motherfuckers. Yeah, I looked at it. I went fuck. I, yeah. I'm the sane one. In that, in <laughs> oh that my group. god! Yeah. You saying I'm not sane? Huh? Uh, you saying I'm not sane? No, no. I'm, I'm saying you're wild. <laughs> Damn, you crazy as fuck. I had I had a card last two events. Wilding out. Oh, I'm gonna rap battle somebody in the middle of a fight. Uh, you got um, in that pool. You got a Craig is in there. Mm -hmm. uh, you I got, still don't know what he looks like. If he shows up. Yeah, dude, events, he looks, didn't show yeah. up. Uh, he'll be there. He's, I had to he's fight got another bin, and I thought it was Ben Accurate. Uh, like no. shit my pants the whole fight. That's where I got confused too. Yeah, it was this dude, and yeah. I think Ash was like, "You think Ben Accurate would wear that frilly ass fucking?" No. It was one of it was one of Ash's like dudes or whatever. And I was oh like, my oh, god, my fault, dude. <laughs> he yeah. was like all orange and blue. Yeah, no, uh, Accurate fences in. Uh, Mostly black and uh, a little splash of red in there to hide the blood of his enemies. There you go. Um, you got uh, the other uh, half of uh, Stunt Boy duo in there. You got Billy Matt Thompson uh, in there, freshly so, minted A fighter. So he's a stunt man too. Yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, I think or, to, or stunt man. to round it out, you've oh, got. Oh, Ben also. Um, hmm? Yeah, is Ben also a stunt man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then to round out Stunt Boy's crew, you got Jim Ng. Uh, from New York, he's going to be there too. So, this is going to be crazy, crazy time out there. I thought um, of Billy a little bit. I like Billy a lot. We, yeah, we're on the same page about working out with yeah. Hema. You know, staying in shape like that. Yeah, Billy's good people. Yeah, uh, I hope I get to fight him. I don't think I'll fight him. Yeah, uh, I probably have to fight Paul Groover again. Oh my God, that I guy! He, tore his fucking he did. He did. And and he still competing. He had surgery in late July, and he's. <laughs> He comes off his gold medal win at Queens, See, goes thought, get surgery, gets medically clear, and he is back. Like yeah. that is a mad lad. Wait a minute, right? Wait a minute. Absolute mad lad. How do, yeah. you, how do you get cleared like two weeks after a surgery? I don't know. I don't That's know. insane. But, 
but uh, like props. <laughs> I'm not gonna grapple you because of it. Yeah. Props. Um, um, wait, who are you talking about again? Oh, Paul. Yeah. Sorry, Paul. Yeah, I have to fight. No, I'm not gonna be out there. Out there. You knowingly endangered the king. <laughs> no, he knowingly <laughs> endangered himself. No, I like uh, Paul. Last year, uh, he so he waxed me at Queens last year, and then at Raleigh, right after, I was like three yellow cards deep. I was like, "Hey, bro, put the sword down. Let's wrestle." Real oh quick. my god! So he wrestled. Oh, and then Paul he picked up the sword, and then like. We must have both been tired or something, but he didn't hit me. I was like, "That's that's revenge for Queens. Oh, <laughs> that's man. revenge for Queens." Oh, I felt bad. I got him tired. I was like, "Ah." Oh. <laughs> me and Connor, we fucking went at it. Yeah, I remember that. I remember uh, you walked out and you just like you holding up the sword and, made a uh, rule against and it. just like put it down. Yeah. And you're like, "Best wrestling tournament I've ever been to, bro." Yeah, yeah, no, oh, they made a rule against. Yeah, so now you can't drop your sword and go into a grapple. You have to like get up to each other if you want to. If you want to grapple at Raleigh Open, go up to each other, get into a bind, put a hand on a shoulder, throw your fucking sword. <laughs> yeah, throw your fucking sword and uh, go. Now get in there and I'm like who will do it with me? Throw the biggest, widest, overhanded shot and, <laughs> and, then, and then land it nice and soft into it and then. Toss the sword away and go into the grapple. There Make him think that something bad's gonna happen. Yeah, <laughs> fuck with him a little bit. That'd be yep. funny as yep. shit. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna have fun. I'm on my cup again and just see where it goes. See if I can do uh, that for talking to myself like a lunatic. You wearing a cup tomorrow? Yeah, I'm yeah. wearing a cup yeah. of competition. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> John need me in the tank the other day. Shit hurt. My butthole still hurt. From that. Is that honest. what you pulled? I don't know. I think Something it's in a that mix region. of uh, like dick taint, butthole, and ass cheek. Mm, that was rough. Yeah. And then the Sorry about meat. that, bud. I ain't nothing. Ain't nothing to I, it. I mean, at least you don't have bony knees. Because if you have bony knees, it might have hurt a little more. A bony. Uh, he had on Ultra Pros, which yeah, which, oh, he wow. left an Ultra Pro imprint <laughs> in my nut sack. <laughs> It was branded. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I were to like moon on me, you'd probably see Ultra Pro printed in there. You know? <laughs> uh, oh, I hope we get to see Pope tomorrow. Yeah, Pope. Uh, he had a long drive today. Uh, yeah. he came in from um, from Iowa, and Holy shit. yeah, and Jeez. so he he messaged me. He said uh, he he wants to make it out. If he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But. Well, I we're hoping he makes it too. Hope's always a good time. I texted him. I was like, "Yo, I better see you tomorrow." So hopefully he'll come out. I let him know. That's an order. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I will see you tomorrow, Pope. Yeah. If you're seeing this, <laughs> I'll publish this tonight oh <laughs> and just god. send it to him unlisted. <laughs> just, just this portion. Oh god! <laughs> clip that chat. Clip, clip that it. chat. Clip that. <laughs> yeah. well, what about Stephen? Is he going to be there tomorrow? Oh my god. Uh okay, yeah, he's gonna be there. He's he in TRA. Oh, okay. He's in TRA. I hear us. everybody exhaling very deeply. <laughs> <laughs> is there a story about No, there's a total story. If you've seen I, I actually annotated on the screen. If you've seen my Raleigh open last year, this dude I fucking throw him and then he gets up and he tries to fight me about it, which is dumb considering like I single legged him into hell. You follow the rules. I did follow yeah, the rules. Follow the rules. I want to state that clearly. And we're still going to follow the rules. And we're still going to be polite and I professional. Haven't, I haven't had a card, bro. I haven't had one card. Hey, he got a track record. And it's clean. Yeah. yeah. Run run my shit on sled, bro. <laughs> run my shit on sled right now. Pay the 50. South the Carolina 50. Law Enforcement Division. Yeah. <laughs> oh not sponsored by run, sled. Not, <laughs> yeah, fuck no. No, fuck sled. <laughs> hey, they keep the highway safe. <laughs> I remember when we first opened the club, I was like, I should get first aid, CPR, and a background check. I'm like, background check. I went background check myself. I'm like, I know my motherfucking background, dog. What the fuck? I had to get a piece of paper just to say that I ain't oh done God. shit. Like, I was pissed. And I paid $50 to, to learn nothing. Shit's crazy. People have paid more and learned less. No, that's deep. $50 to get your award certificate. There you go. Something like that. Uh, so t- this is my CV right here. There you go. My resume. We're going to do uh, first aid and CPR at the Dojon. That's kind of a plan. So I'm looking forward to getting that out of the way because I'll feel a little, a little better having that. You know what I'm doing a little more. Yeah. Because, uh, you see uh, 
Josh Weiss's uh, podcast with um, Connor Kemp Cowell about injuries and stuff. About uh, his uh, oh, somebody no, was it. telling me about it. I ain't yeah. watched it yet. It's it's, it's good stuff. Uh, definitely check that out. Uh, You're talking about like Embracrates, like how they just like come in and they twist on the way and then they cut through. Yeah, yeah. Um, they they kind of capped it off with talking about HEMA injuries, which uh, TLDR was. If you don't know what you're doing, find someone who does. But um, yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah, you yeah. can uh, definitely help yourself out though with the the CPR classes and and stuff too. My thing is like fence and barefoot, especially. I always break a fucking toe or something and just take that shit. That's yeah. usually why I stub a toe or. I get hit in the hand too hard, so now I gotta tape yeah. up this fucking finger or my whole hand or my wrist. It's almost like we should review excessive force to make sure people don't get injured. <laughs> don't by, be a dick. D bad, don't be a dick. By not hitting you. <laughs> I mean, I mean yeah. Saber looks like it, it's hard as fuck everywhere I go. Everywhere I see Saber, it looks so fuck like that's why I don't wanna do Saber. I get hit in the hip, I be bitching. So the Saber I got recently is like on the heavier side and like I do side sword and stuff, so it's like, okay, I'm comfortable with one-handed weapons. But you get a really light saber versus like a heavier saber, and it's it's like not fun, because <laughs> like for real, they're both pros and cons, and there's so much variety in saber where it's like, all right, if both people have light sabers, it can be a fast, rapid, like technical fight. If both people have yeah. heavy sabers, they're probably both gonna get a concussion. At some point in time. Yeah, and we actually we had an issue with that at uh, Surfo this year in the ring that I was judging. I heard uh, Surfo hit hard as fuck. It was it was pretty hard, and uh, in the saber we had a guy who um, uh, heavy saber got clocked twelve to six. It split the rubber sealing on no. his uh, mask. Yeah, I didn't hear about that. And, um, Damn, what kind of mask did he have? I don't remember what kind of mask it was. If it wasn't but, an AF, that's his problem. Uh, we can but, attest. We still dented that AF though. We, we dented it. Uh, we dented it AF. <laughs> we dented it AF. Yeah. No. We. I mean, I had to lay into it with a buckler for that shit to pop, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When it finally fucking popped, it was like, damn, I'm, I'm fucking beat. That thing kicked my ass. <laughs> I was done. He laid he into it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Will, Will I like to shit. break it. Like the broken nose on it. Uh, yeah. He fucking ran his face into the wall. <laughs> oh my <laughs> some God. shit. What What did you do? I did like a running shield punch and. I just kept moving into well, the shield. There was your first problem wow. was the running right. shield punch. Uh-huh. Nah. It's not Hollywood. Was it Spartacus? No, not Spartacus. Achilles? No, it wasn't. It okay, was Brad jump. Pitt. You kind of look like Brad Pitt. Pitt. No, I'm just kidding. There's like so many videos of me and Bo Hurt getting running shield punched. There's one where I get shield punched into the list and I go parallel with the list and come back down. And I had no clue that shit happened until I watched the fucking video. And now there's just a freeze frame. If I can find it, I'll put it up here. There's a freeze frame of me fucking just... Feet off the ground, almost out the fucking list field. Just, and Mike's just laying into my fucking head with his big ass, illegal ass buckler. I don't know. He might have had a punch shield. One, one of the motherfuckers <laughs> bought like the max weight buckler oh, that yeah. you can and started using it. So five pound dumbbell. Pretty much. <laughs> just started, yeah, pretty much. He just started laying into motherfuckers' faces. That's I'd great. Just imagine Bo watching footage. Check out this motherfucker. Oh, fuck. That motherfucker's me. <laughs> yeah, no, literally. It's. Especially when you all have nasals or like a bassinet that has two eye slots. You're just like, who's who? <laughs> and I can usually tell who I am because I'll keep the little scarf on mm. and I'm skinny as fuck. So like, I'm always like, yeah, I'm the little fucker running around there. I always use an axe. I hated using sword and shield. So so would you ever do a harness effect in my life? Uh, I don't really know how they work, but I would, yeah. Can you lay into people's faces? Not really. There's Maybe like an not, excessive then. force rule. There's an excessive force rule for Iron Spectrum? Yeah. I don't want to do it. Man. Sorry. <laughs> it's probably for the best. It's probably for the best. Because <laughs> I'll go out there, grab their blade, and just start laying into and, their and, fucking face. And start having flashbacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> having flashbacks of me getting my ass whooped. Yeah. More schlock, motherfucker. Yeah. I, I, was used to, I used to just grab the axe, go around rip heads. <laughs> that was my shit. Mm. Yo. Yo. We got more people about to join in. I could have swore I just heard somebody say that this is my first rodeo. Well, that would be Nick. Oh, yep. shit, yeah. Does he have a cowboy oh, hat? Shit. We need to get him one. <laughs> we should get him one. Nick. You. We got a bull for you to ride. We got a horse for you to fuck. 
Yeah, I never heard of Mr. Hans. Uh, uh, <laughs> you want you want to be on podcast? Yeah, I saw a picture of myself. I felt like I looked so aged. Uh, <laughs> one second, I'll be right back. I, I, I got a mic. We'll put we'll put them right? on next. We'll put them on next. I, I, I feel I feel like this is like. A nice way to rotate who's in the shower and who isn't. Yeah, no, right? it is. It's perfect. That's what we did last time. Hell yeah! People came in and out. I was like, come on. So I'm almost done with my glass jar of soup at 170 what kind of calories. Soup is that? <laughs> Delicious. Good, soup. apparently. Yeah. yeah that's pretty fucking Slow good. simmered soup, vegetable, m- minestrone, vegetable minestrone, mi- minestrone, minestrone. 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 <laughs> I mean, it might be. Vegetable maestro, mistro, mistro. Mi- mi- <laughs> Who's the sword fighter guy? Okay. What's the sword fighter yeah. guy? What? What do they call sword fighter guys? Maestro. There we go. <laughs> maestro. Took maestro. long enough. Some some vegetable maestro. <laughs> what, what, we got tomato. Uh, no pepper. No artificial know. colors. Yeah, you're making more flavors. Cry more flavors. Right now. More preservatives. <laughs> For what's that brand? Made for uh, Rao. 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 R A O. Apostrophe S. Rose. Rouse. Rouse. Where's Rouse. the U? Rail. Rail. Ra- uh, yeah. It seems like Rails. you know more Rails. about this Rails. than I do. Uh, I can't roll my R's. I don't know what I'm you. I just watched the Sopranos. Hey, I'm walking. Makes sense. Yeah. That's, you got me beat. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's the ingredient? You can have the rest of it if you want. The ingredient is yeah, soup. Fucked up one. Whole field tomatoes. I hear doors knocking. Hey, somebody knocking on the door. Knock, knock, knocking on the Open Airbnb. That shit. Oh, they found out. Someone got it. Mm-hmm. Who's that? We all about to die. This Pope. He's summoning me. He spawns <laughs> in. Oh, yeah. No, I would fucking shit break. Just pops in through portal. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Mm-hmm. It's kind of lit in here right now. What? Hey, who that? You be back? You be back? All right, bet. Who that there? <laughs> Cause who that boy is? Oh Lord, he coming. Nah, the so, will. How the fuck are you gonna do two swords tomorrow? Yeah, how, are, how are you gonna? Or oh, that's Sunday. Yeah. So what's your thought process when you use two fucking swords? I'm curious. Cause I see Matthias you start with a plan and then it goes to shit when <laughs> you've got two swords in All your right, face. Yeah. That's Fair. pretty much. There. So, so okay. I got some advice for you. Yeah, please. Since your left brain and your right brain control your right hand and your left hand, they never communicate, at least for me. So I'm just kind of flailing a little bit. It's not helpful at all. I, I try the stuff you're showing me, of, you know, like one, one yeah. arm goes behind it with yeah, a Yeah, like Godino, like style, like yeah. Screamer. Yep. So keep it, uh, keep one cut chambered all the time. That's the, that's the Godino, Godino stuff. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and if you get some headphones and you listen to the like hard bass house and you like <laughs> right yeah you said hard bass house i found a house in deep that's how much house i've watched that's, not, <laughs> that's how much house i've watched recently <laughs> fucking uh yeah the, the two sword shit fucking shit fuck with me i don't do side sword but i think side swords first right so it's sword yeah. dagger yeah yeah first, right? uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So I'm it's just it's that. just gonna be side sword and dagger again with a longer dagger. I need a lot of throw swords. Yeet. I've done it once. <laughs> yeet. I, I would totally empty. yell yeet and throw a sword for one card. Just, just for one. Just, just for I'll one trade card. you one card. <laughs> I'll trade you one yeah. card for a sword throw. <laughs> just one. I've only hit it once. I did on Connor a long time ago. <laughs> And he was like, "Great technique, never Great do that technique. again. <laughs> never, do never that again." again. Well, that's the first time you fought. I'm pretty sure it's in the yeah, manual, though. The, 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 the that sword makes it you historical accurate. Accurate. Something happens uh, uh, historically accurately. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Yeah, no, it's, it's a test that. of the Tima. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the yeah, no, first time I remember coming out to SCA. Yeah, I threw that sword. It'd been a minute. I'd been doing longsword for a minute before I broke, or after I broke that sword, but like. I remember I went out to SCA practice first day and I didn't understand that SCA didn't do cuts and thrust. So Ooh. I broke a fucking rapier first go. Ouch. What? Yeah. Wait, how'd you break yeah. that? Yeah. I swung it on a sword. It just broke in the bind. Oh, jeez. I tried to cut into the bind and then thrust or some shit. And then, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's a lie. You just can't cut fleshy bits. You can cut a sword all day. Yeah. I know, yeah. You can beat, you can beat swords and you just have to I don't stab remember. I don't, just, I too powerful. Too powerful, yeah. I, I just 
little 16 year old me was fucking <laughs> too jacked apparently i was skinny as fuck no it was fucking it was my first day out there at all Jeez. i hadn't i hadn't fenced at all but i had trained like long sword so i knew sword work i knew i needed to cut and thrust that was about it it was a cut and thrust tournament right this wasn't this was just practice oh, okay. i just showed up to a practice because larry when i was on pk he's like oh you want to do hema and shit you should go the sca does this on tuesdays oh, so yeah. i went to it and then now we're here now i'm here at least y'all, y'all still probably would have fucking been here but we're just pretend right nothing wake up <laughs> wake up wake up <laughs> i've tried it doesn't work damn we're stuck in a simulation do you believe we're stuck in a simulation or is this like reality is this based reality I is think, this the real life or is it just fantasy I, I kind of think, <laughs> that took me a second i kind of think it's like it's like this oh. if our brain just receives information where does that information go does it just like feedback loop and then in your neural link obviously into my neural link, <laughs> into your neural link dude. i mean like there, there's a reason you lay down at night and sometimes can't go to sleep. The server before. <laughs> <laughs> you can't log off. Can't log off. It's like bro. SAO. Oh my god. <laughs> I love long. season one. I hated season two. Why did you hate season two? Because the guns? Are, are, are you talking? Okay, so there's like season one, part one, and part two. It might be part two. Where they the, go back into the game. The fairy shit. Yeah, the, it, so the fairy stuff like, was cool. The fairy, all right, you didn't like the guns. What I didn't like is like, hey, we just like narrowly avoided death. Let's go play it again. And I'm like, mm-hmm. bro, what? He's like, oh, my wings. And I'm like, this is... His wife, uh, though. Wife? The little boo thing. They was married in the game. They might as well have been married oh, in real life. They, they were stuck in that shit together. They have Minecraft beds and they were... Yeah, they, they put their Minecraft beds together. <laughs> did, you, did you see the gun shit? Uh-uh. I only watched like two episodes. I was like, you watch the it? same thing I just watched. What gun? What gun show? So SAO turned into a fucking gun show after the first season. So that first season was SAO and then the yeah. fairy shit. And then the second season, these motherfuckers were in Gun Gale Online. And he was fighting <laughs> a, he was fighting a dude. This is a spoiler if you never watched SAO. He was oh, fighting yeah. a dude who had a buddy in real life who would go kill people in their sleep when he shot them in the game. So, like, there was this dude on TV. He shot the fucking TV in the bar or whatever in the yeah. game, and the dude died in real life. Wait, so wait, wait. So he goes into so, the game trying to figure out who this dude is killing people because they don't have the same headgear that they used to that fries people's brains. Gotcha. That's what oh. I was about to ask. So yeah. they fixed it, but they were like, nah, we kept, we don't. Yo, uh, season three gets crazier. Yeah? Yeah, they do this deep dive shit. Where they, <laughs> they upload, uh, can you tell this fucking like consciousness into this game and when he wakes up from the game you can't remember what happened in there because time goes so quick it's nuts that's ridiculous and then there's like an evil version of him downloaded onto the server by the end of it <laughs> yeah it's so goofy it's so like that nuts I, I i wish it would have stuck through with it now because like go that watch sounds it. good go like, watch yeah, it. It. yeah sounds gun good, gale might be all right <laughs> <laughs> go <laughs> take the mic with you <laughs> we can hear all this <laughs> no yeah it was fun i enjoyed it i watched that when I was in like middle school though, but I, I probably watched the new shit, new, new shit when I was like, damn, I just said it when I was in middle school. Fuck, I'm young. Damn, all right. Oh, God. You're a baby, bro. Back uh, in my day. Back in my day. <laughs> no. Now, I watched season three. That was, well, I probably would have been like a senior in high school if I kept going to high school. Mm-hmm. It's about time it came out. I waited for the English though. You can't speak Japanese? I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Nani the fuck? Nani I can't the read. Fuck? I can't read. Are you are you topping in? I'm doing a lot of stuff right now, my friend. Or you <laughs> look at what's a lot of stuff. Look at this, these feet. This. Look at this jaw. They look have great. Have a seat. Look have a seat. seat. Come yeah. hop in. It'll be me and me and homie. All right. And then we can with you. That rotate more people in. Yeah. Cool. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Does your audience know what a pig squeal is? Huh? Does your audience know what a pig squeal is? A pig squeal? Yeah. No, I don't. Ah, all right. You want to teach him? Do you squeal like a pig real quick? You seem like you're in a hardcore music. I uh, I like a little bit of everything, man. That's what Rachel This said. is Nick, by the way. I just met him today. With, with like, so here's a. I guess we'll do a proper on the podcast meet here. I walked in. I was like, oh, this guy's got a nose ring. He's pretty fucking cool. I was cool once, dude. I was cool once. It was cool once. Yeah, like 25 years ago, I was cool once. When you were like five? Like, yeah. Yeah, just about. I was telling them we were, all we would do is just sit around our neighborhood and just 
fuck around with all our dad's yeah. stuff. Yeah. Go, go steal wood from each other's parents' house. And be like, Let's go build a fort. <laughs> my dad catches me, he's gonna kick my ass. <laughs> you go snatch everyone else's. But yeah, so do you fight? What do you fight, man? That was my first tournament. Uh, I started doing HEMA actually wanting to do long sword about eight years ago. Uh, I had buddies that were, one was a D1 wrestler from North Carolina, and one was a judo and jiu-jitsu guy. Judo. So I came in and said, hey guys, let's, I got a Tallhoffer book. Let's try and teach each other long sword. Every engage that got this close was like, I can, a soda guard. Yeah. You just like whip you onto the ground. I see a soda. You know what I like? So when you have two days a week of doing grappling training, then you're trying to do your sword training. Yeah. And there's, there's, it's the same thing. Yeah, no. Yeah. One of the guys was probably the size of Rachel and maybe I, I might have wrestled with him for 50 hours and I didn't even get a single submission. So like so Soto Makikomi and Koichi Makikomi, if you can, if you can get a, uh, an overhook on their sword hand, not, don't get an overhook on the arm, get on the sword hand and get away, put your head forward, bro. You just rip them forward a little bit and just plow through them every fucking time. I've uh, I've managed to get sword grabs going in because I just naturally want to. The moment I get close to them, I'm like, you have you. Yeah, yeah. So I am, I'm having this thing where I'm like, well, I can't be doing that with saber. Or at least yeah, I don't feel like it might be the best idea. But uh, yeah, I haven't been able to find an opening for a throw anyway. I I tend to be very defensive, so I'm usually if you throw a cut at me, I'm really taking a step back anyway. I've been hand sniping lately. I'm not. I'm not the same unit I used to be. But Raleigh Open last year, I threw fucking everyone. I think there was two guys I didn't throw because I thought that it was gonna be a little difficult. It was a little big. Did you have a specialty throw? Um, I trained three, so I I shot a single leg from space. You shot a single leg. I shot a single leg, and I dropped this dude, and he didn't know how to fall, and he fell on his fucking head, and then he tried to fight me after. And this dude's actually still in the tournament now, surprisingly. I don't know who allowed that, but... That's two enemies I heard you got. Yeah, yeah, I got beef at Raleigh. <laughs> got beef with an organizer, beef with some random fucking asshole. You gonna dude. call yourself Beef Squad now? Beef Squad, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I don't know. I call myself Beef Squad. Beef Squad, that's, that's it. I go hard. Um, hard. We BMK, we're Beast Mode Killers. Beast Mode Killers? Beast Mode Killers. I'm like uh, DWG. Dark Wizards gang. Dark Wizards gang. Dark Wizard money gang? I don't got no money. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my sub genre. Hey, man. Hey, hey. It's, what did Bob Marley say? Uh, a rich man. What is a rich man? Rich man is a man with worldly possessions. A rich true. man is a rich man. I got a cat. You got a cat. That's all you need. Yeah. Cat and a girl. There you go. That's pretty set. <laughs> That's pretty set. But, so you asked me. Huh? Why are you playing when you say right girl? <laughs> By a point, you? <laughs> I you want to me though? No, I'm good. Right, I need one of those. Yeah. One? Yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, I get forgot. him a brisky. Get him a brisky. Stay mic'd up while you get your brisky. <laughs> Stay mic'd up while you get the brisky. But the people out there I got don't the know is I've got mac potatoes back. coming on. He hopped on and asked me about hardcore music, and I like just went to sword fighting. <laughs> All right, he's got his yang lang. Yang or Lang? My Yang or Lang. So you asked me if I listen to hardcore music. What is your definition of hardcore music? Uh, like yeah. Lang, Lang, Lang some bands. Because my, my girlfriend, she's really into the punk right, scene. Right now, she, I'm, she really into, I'm really into I'm really into Missing Link, Tsunami, uh, some old school straight edge uh, bands. Like what? Uh, youth of Today. Uniform, uniform Change. Whoa. I'm a ska core man. Oh, I'm a ska man originally. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So... I'm a ska man. <laughs> I'm a ska man. Yeah. Well, fuck it. So I listen to, ah, uh, man, I, I'll give you the run. I like my reggae. I like my Barrington Levy. Yep, yep. I like um, I like a bunch of 80s hits, 70s, 60s, 50s. I like, I like older shit. I like some newer shit. Like, uh, I, I don't even know if the Demonics are newer or what. The people who made 754 shit like that. You ever play Skate 3? Yeah. You know the soundtrack off that? Yeah. That kind of like formed my shit when I was young. That kind of helped. Because I grew up playing that. So that kind of introduced me to like that side of music. Yeah. Like canned heat going up right. the country. But I was, I'm really into Elvis and like Jerry Lee Lewis, Lil Richard. Lil, um, Lil Richard got some hints. Lil Richard's fire, bro. They see Ray Charles. Bad Brains? The Lil Richard song? You know Bad Brains? No. no yeah. No, you're no, you're in a punk and reggae and you don't, man. Bad brains is bad brains. Bad brains is out. You there. have to put me on. Do you know how to? Do you know how to do crowd karate? All right, I don't go to shows. I'm All right, tight, tight. 
I, I'm, I'm going to show my girlfriend this and she's going to tell me what crowd karate is later. Like, she's going to be like, what a fucking loser that guy is. They yeah, swing yeah, their yeah. arms like this and don't yeah. hit each other. Yeah. Two step or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, she sent me some videos of shows. Yeah, two, like, damn. two two stepping and uh, skanking. Just... I wonder what would happen if I like just go in there and like start hitting judo throws. Probably get you you probably running. would get beaten up. Yeah, it, it, it would be so yeah. obvious that you're doing something that's not just like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy knows what he's doing out here. He's not one of hey, us. That guy, that guy's doing. Ju- hey, is that Ty Otoshi? <laughs> <laughs> uh, lead singer stops. Just goes. Ipa. 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 Mm. Well, sorry. Mm. <laughs> oh, he got a shido on that one. <laughs> That's why I saw all the Japanese fucking complaining about. Yeah. Uh, so, did you watch the Olympic judo? No, I just I no. just listened to the complaints, dude. I was no. like, oh, what? It's like they eat on themselves constantly, and no one counted. I seen the fourth rank under fifty three kilo girl, uh, Japanese girl. She kept like it looked like she kept trying to hit. She got like butterfly hooks in, looked like she was going for sumigashi. But the little Swedish girl would just stand on top of her. By the end of it, the Swedish girl got three cards and then turned up on the ref. And the whole time mm. I'm watching, I was oh, like, okay, I'm I caught like, that. Wait. I caught that clip because I was like, I'm surprised yeah. the ref didn't throw her. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah. if that was me at a tournament, I'd been fucked. My sensei would have fucked me up. What do you think you're saying to me, sensei? Yeah, like, everyone's like, getting thrown. Yeah, that's you know, judo's big on the respect. You can't even the Olympics is different, but you can't even celebrate. They don't respect the ground though. They're always tossing you on that shit, man. They use the ground as a weapon. This man is a uh, lethal weapon to me right now because he's making my fucking mashed potatoes. Oh fuck! Thank yeah. you so much, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that's just made for four or five people. Uh-uh. Uh, that's made for me and Nick. <laughs> you were supposed to be at Raleigh last year, right? Yeah, I got COVID. Right? I yeah, I'm the one that ended up taking your spot in the BNB oh, last yeah. time. Yeah, I appreciate that, dog. Nah, no, <laughs> thanks for getting COVID. No, <laughs> so now Loki, thanks because now we all here. Athens yeah. treated me like family, so y'all's family now. We gotta look out for each other. No, I appreciate that, dude. Oh, the, yeah. These guys are my social hour, basically. Yeah, all my buddies are doing land. Oh, he's chilling out with us. He's with us. Yeah, I you mean, pay extra not to judge. I just took the yellow card like a man. I. I <laughs> <laughs> I gotta figure out how I'm even gonna be like hanging out. I'm gonna have to sit on the. I'm gonna have to tell my my coach. I'm coaching y'all. You, you can be my coach. Water to me. I'll be the water boy. Yeah, I never have a coach. I'll be in tier A long sword. You want to coach me? I'll, I'll go tell him how to. Yeah. Play. Go tell him how to fence. Yeah, you can't be on the floor at uh, Raleigh unless you're a coach, fighter, etc. So I got kicked out earlier. <laughs> yeah, I heard, I heard that. I, heard. I was like, bro. Who's the buddy with the blonde same hair again? Huh? The, your buddy with the blonde hair? Fuck. Oh, Adam, he's up there asleep. No, I was, I was just, I saw him sitting there, and then I saw her make that announcement. And I was like, oh, they're probably yelling at fucking Bowen and Adam. I, I, all right, so there's like three rules that came out of it for me. I'm gonna be completely transparent. Uh, one, don't drop your sword before engaging into the grapple. So like last year, I got people to agree to put their swords down and wrestle with me. Now <laughs> you have to touch blades and grab each other first before you do it. Uh, what was the other one? Fucking no vaping indoors. I, uh, put that oh, in come on, bro. There's kids in there. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's kids like, in there. It's a soccer like tournament. Last time, I you're like, gonna have a little Jimmy walking out. Like, <laughs> I love blueberry grape vape. I zero it out so no one ever notices. I just like your poor little lungs. Your poor little lungs. Yeah, just lungs. keep inhaling, bro. Just yeah, fuck the lungs. Nah, I was literally seeing stars in my second pool after I hit the vape. <laughs> Like, oh, fuck. Uh, there's no better feeling when the hypoxia takes you places. Yeah. You're like, why did I walk over here myself? How long have yeah. I been holding my breath? <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's all that. There was another one. Uh, probably pertaining to grappling. I don't remember. So la- I can't remember if any of you guys told me. Last year, was it the same 90-second uh, format? Or this was the first time they were this doing is, the 90. This is the same format okay. from what I can tell. They've done it the same format three years. I actually I enjoyed this format. I think more than almost anything else that we've done at practice. Uh, it's, I, it's great. I like the practice like that. The self call, keep going. Yeah, I like that too. I uh, I like I like the fast pace. I was surprised that we got through fights so fast. Yeah. Um. I kind I think it's a little bit more like MMA, like with the with the judging of it, which I really liked because I uh, definitely get in my own head once they separate. Once you're like, oh, separate. I'm like, oh, what's what's the new engagement gonna be? What up, y'all? Um, you, you wanna hop on? Up. Yeah, get in here so I can yeah. smoke it out. Kill myself. Back here with Omkar, Human House Two. 
I got my Raleigh edition. You got Wings. I got my nuggets when and my drag across your head. My bacon. <laughs> God damn it! Just walked into got that a, one. It's just a mukbang right now. It's always a mukbang when I too many too many head hits today. How was Saber? <laughs> too many head hits. Also, probably going to end up with a bunch of bruises. Yeah, I seen everybody was getting bruised. Everyone's oh, getting bruised up. John, how'd you get bruised? Right there, and I was like, damn, this shit oh. looks gnarly. I was like, this shit gonna be purple. And then I switched. Yo, what's up? Huh? Those are Adams. I don't know if you saw Owen. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know for sure. He's he's <laughs> very generous, but he's asleep. And if I go up there and he's not asleep and mm. you're awake, I'll tell you that you can eat his Twizzlers if, like, he lets me eat them. I yep. don't know. And I'm trying to buy more tomorrow. I got the couch, so I'm happy. Yeah, you always get the couch. You're always pretty happy with the couch. I don't I'm, know who's I mean, sleeping with me. You want in? Come on. Come, sit down. Come on, Connor. Come sit down, pal. This is going to be the last bit before I go outside of smoke yeah. a joint. Fair interview enough. Questions. Interview questions. How was Saber? Uh, all my arm hurts. It was all right. Like, it was pretty fun. I got some hey. good, some Ow. good fights, as in, like, fun fights, but as far as, like, standings go, like, I got my butt picked. Your girlfriend uh, with your butt. I mean, yeah. That <laughs> she, was, I, she was doing pretty I mean, good. She's really good at Saber. She actually studies it. I only did Saber so yeah. I could do... I really only did Saber so I could do everything at this event. Yeah. I don't... If you know Saber, you know it. a little of everything. Yeah. yeah mm, I don't kinda. know Saber, so... <laughs> <laughs> so I know say, nothing. <laughs> I vaguely know Roworth, but really I was just finding a mix of, like, Dusak and Side Sword. Yeah. I think this event now teaches me one, because uh, jo John is now compiling a calendar of every time I duck my head. <laughs> Oy. I would love Boy. it. I would love it if I could see. So like <laughs> and this year, getting it. Uh, this year has the sword and dagger focus. I would love to see sword and rotella next year. Because mm, like yeah. so many tournaments have a size limit on your buckler or shield that restricts anyone from even using like a moderately sized shield. Like the problem I, I see is I now have a Norman shield that reaches down to my legs. Yeah, that probably that wouldn't might... qualify as a rotella if they mm. chose to do a sword and rotella. Yeah. Tournament. Tower shield and rapier. Yeah. yeah. I'd just love to be see more rapiers in fight. the southeast. Like not like I've been all over the southeast doing human stuff. I've been around the Carolinas doing it, but I don't see that much rapier. We're we'll gonna set you up with that rapier club. Yeah, I mean I'll fuck with a fry. Fuck yeah. Get I'll some cheese on there. Shit. Yeah. I gotta live it. Mm. Mm. The hair be wet. <laughs> Hi Rachel. Hey, How are Rachel. you? I feel that. Soggy. Being a gremlin in the background Shower once in a while. Nice. Yes. <laughs> there you go. I have a count. Well, shit. So you, uh, you, you, so you're, you're pushing rapier. You held rapier at Midlands. Yeah. Um, or I guess I should say, like, I want to start pushing rapier. Yeah. Um, I'm going to set you up with a little rapier class. Yeah. You, <laughs> get you paid. Um, we, at that point, we get the money. Um, Ashley and Tom from um, Sword Carolina, they were interested in rapier stuff because they said that they have rapiers and they don't know what they're doing with it. Okay. Even though they do a lot of side sword, which is related. Yeah. Um, related, but different. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And I mentioned like the timing, like the Sunday evening timing, and they're just like, yeah, we can probably do that, like at least every other week. So, oh, yeah. mm. cool, that would be nice. Cool, cool. That'd be lit. Yeah, with the Sunday and. Yeah. I'm going to try and structure those classes, at least for the first little while, like. I need to join in on those. So it's going to be better. It's going to be better if someone can make every class. I'll probably do like three weeks in a row of actual oh, class and then we'll have one week that's to review for people who miss stuff or just a sparring game mm, or whatever. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to divide up some of my classes into beginner and advanced and uh, mm. probably cut the hours on them just so we have more class. More so classes. Like shorter classes but more of them? Or Yeah, because if everybody walk in and it's an hour class, as soon as people walk in, I'm putting you on the floor and giving you a drill. Mm. Yeah. Versus like, hey, come in, stretch, we're going to beat the crap out of each other and maybe do some plays, you know? Yeah. It really mm. depends on what I got wrote up. Like, I... I had a good bit written up before you got there at the Raleigh Open prep day, mm. uh, but it was all it was all grapples. So. Yeah, my last <laughs> couple classes, the instructional time has gone over pretty significantly because there's like new people. Mm. Um, yeah. But that's necessary. You got to give them time. Yeah, I ideally I like half instructional and half sparring, and I'm okay to go a little over that on <laughs> instructional. But yeah. it's starting to rob us of sparring time, so it's just something that I got to learn. Like the structure I've been using these couple classes, last couple classes has been <laughs> really good. It's just a matter of seeing what I can do about still having us have sparring time. Well, we could probably mm, just yeah. open up assigned time slots for sparring class. Yeah. You know, I mean, if someone wants to stay super late, like you can. But 
if a class mm-hmm. runs till eight thirty, you leave a little bit late. That's late all for y'all. Up, My blah, class, blah, blah, blah. you get home oh. at like ten o'clock. My <laughs> long star class runs till nine thirty. Yeah. Like, yeah, I want to, and then I get home at like eleven. Mm, yep. Yeah, because then I got to vacuum the motherfucking place, or yep. we'd still fight in, or something. Mm-hmm. It's always some shit, you know? Yeah. It's always we got something. so many people. Which is good, but it also it's means, like, space. I don't get enough sleep, like, three days out of the week at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Usually more than that, but yeah. if it's more than that, that's just on me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> As well, opposed to your job, but doesn't it interfere? Doesn't it interfere? Yeah. I mean, it. So my job is, like, more or less 10 to 6. Like, there's different hours on the weekend, but I'm also working on the weekend, always. Mm. Uh, my weekend is Tuesday and Wednesday. Got some blue cheese. So I don't really have any day of the week that's just like fully open and I can do whatever I want the whole day. I don't mm. work after my Thursday class, but a lot of times I don't come to Wednesday class because I gotta get up balls early the next morning. Yep, that's mm. usually yep. how it is. I I would I would try to push your Wednesday back, but with our recording, I don't have the time for that. Okay, like, worried, never mind. Yeah, our wait. our recording schedule would be fucked anyway, like thirty minutes back. I have to rethink mm. that recording schedule. I actually would because would I don't work that day. Heck yeah. Um, even during the HEMA. I would consider that, but only after like asking everyone and making sure that it's not gonna uh, yeah, we gotta get everything negatively through. impact because like some people might work right until six o'clock and need that time to get there yeah. or whatever the case might be. But because uh, I know I I would not be opposed to six to eight for Wednesday class. Yeah, because like, I don't work that day. So well, cool. I know for me, if I were to go to your classes, I'd have to come late because I don't know when I get off work ever. Yep. Yeah, I at least have regular work hours. Did I even int- by the way, if I didn't introduce you, this is Connor. <laughs> this is oh. co-founder of Chip Off. I, mm, so I don't hang I'm, out on the videos that much. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> good shit at introducing people. They'll be like, like Pope sat down on the couch. We talked for 20 minutes. I was like, this is Pope, by the way. Like, yeah, this person <laughs> has a name. He literally like levitated down onto the couch. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is so smooth. It's like whatever. He's just part of it now. But and I'm the guy gentlemen. with the nuggets. Would you uh, like I'm a nugget? Cool a nugget right mm-hmm. They're kind of spicy. Thank you both. I'm about to uh, have my little nightly smoke and finish up this yeah, little recording, keep it funny. Shower mm-hmm. and see how early I can go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. To the next bit. Appreciate Later. it, y'all. Appreciate it. Mm. Let me get my little. All right. It's about bedtime. We're doing our little, our little nightly Roast tradition Roast it down, here. Bohas. <sighs> Smoking some gas. Or, I don't want that place. To, I'm gonna have to air it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> True that. <coughs> oh boy, dude. The peepers. Nice touch. Nice house. Listen. <coughs> would you rather be an honest broccoli or a courageous pizza? A courageous pizza. Why? I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best answer I got. Nobody chose honest broccoli. Nobody chose honest broccoli. No, like no one. My girlfriend's honest broccoli. Honestly, who wants to be know. broccoli? Come on. That's what I said. <laughs> no one wants to be broccoli. Uh, nah. If I had to be a veggie, I'd probably be like a sweet potato. Why? Because I chill underground, get real fat, and spread my vines up above ground. That's hard. That's deep, bro. Yeah. yeah. No, that's starchy. Stiff. Starchy stiff. Fuck yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> yo, know, it ain't easy being cheesy, but somebody's got to do it. Facts, yo. Straight up. Nah, I'm fucking. So you're going to be in tier A tomorrow? I'm tier A tomorrow. <coughs> What's your expectations? Uh, Well, I'm going to have the mic in the helmet. So my only expectation is to not completely eat shit. Completely. I'm probably gonna eat some shit. But like TRA is like <coughs> Sorry folks. TRA is gonna be tough, right? I looked. And everybody in tier A, from what I saw, is cracked. <laughs> so like I'm I feel I feel like I'm a little fucked. I was a little green, but it's on. okay, it looks cool. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. very intimidated by this uh, first tournament. So the first I'm, is always a little strange. Yeah, I mean, I was very, I was very intimidating up front. Uh, having that long sword thrown out your head is an scary experience at times, huh? Yeah. Um, I've been doing it for a minute, even before my first competition. So like, I used a Siggy XL on Queens. It was my first, and I used it wasn't even my sword, my homeboy sword. It was Anthony's sword, 
And I, so I used the Siggy XL, so I was just hand sniping and shit. But I have this move that's like anti-grapple. It's like a zwerk that you do on top of your head, and you just turn and you shoulder check him. And ah. I call it I call it the bow how. John does it. He don't know he does it. He does it a little more range than me. But I'll get I'll I'll constrain high, and I'll take my elbows and I'll shove your elbows off and hit you here, hands or torso. So like if I don't want to grapple tomorrow, that's gonna be my go-to. But also. People don't just run through with the pommel enough because people are chicken shit about throwing pommel strikes so they don't want to get carded. I understand that. Man, I love when someone... I shouldn't say it. My first, uh, my first competition, I haven't seen this a whole lot. But I do love seeing in our sparring, getting ready for this competition, a few of our fencers did throw some of those in sparring where I was like, oh yeah, I saw where you were just sitting there like this. Like, yeah, yeah that was yeah. awesome, dude. It's just Hell yeah. Pop. Right, and then there's I don't even think toes. I don't even think there was any pop. It was just like the threat is just so obviously there that like they wouldn't be able to move and everything. It was just that's beautiful. It's it really is beautiful. It's strange. Like it's interesting. Talk. It's hard to tell in tournament. Like the judges won't always call yeah. it. People yell pommel instead of pommeling you. I think if you just pommel yeah. the motherfucker and get it over, it'd be all right. But I could definitely see the context of like how sensitive pom- yeah, whatever could, competition. You could also pommel the fuck out somebody that was a problem. I saw the video of you when you uh Buckler broke the mask. What? Oh yeah, my absolute force video. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, the one I ended up watching. And I and I watched that and I went, Yeah, right. That's why we're not doing Buckler shit. <laughs> yeah, buy an absolute force mask. And I mean even then Oh, you were stress testing that. You were saying that mask would have been Toast if it was any other mask sooner. Yeah, I much. see. So like, I was surprised at how long it lasts. One of our homegirls, she fights with this mask, and every time she, every time she buys one, I guess they're cheap or something. But every time she buys one, when she comes back around, like she's always got a dent right fucking in the middle of her eyes. Uh, yeah. So like, we he had an old one that he wanted to test out. Burned Casey down. Did. And so we we tested it the fuck out and yo 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 it is what it was. fucking tree frog hell yeah you got a tree frog yeah we do oh get him on the camera I got a light source what the fuck oh shit guys he got a oh yeah shit, he look lit. at him yo that's Timmy tree frog he lit bro I'm, oh, oh yo, he's, he's on, on the, the camera fucking mic stand bro yo you people don't know what oh, kind of out, entertainment you get yeah yeah he he you don't that, that, that was cool. Homeboy looking at you with the big eyes. Yeah, I love that shit. I play, I'm, I'm a gardener, so I get to play with all the critters. I'm at these old ladies' houses messing around with their flowers. A plus. Would recommend. What up, dog? Come on down. We, don't, we recording. Did yeah. everyone go inside already? Did everyone go to bed? No, it's right. oh, okay. Cool, cool. I'm cool. to get ignore them. We're packing up another one, Aiden. Okay. Hell yeah. But He's yeah. not excited. I just want to have him keyed in on what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> We got a little yeah. tree frog, dog. You missed yeah. it. Yeah, it might actually be sitting right there. Yeah, dude, fucking like the size of my pinky finger. <laughs> tight, tight. Yeah. I, yeah. I would love to have something like this in my backyard. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. a whole little lake. Yeah, dude. Uh, I didn't realize it was right there. Yeah, it's right there. It's got a little spot you can walk down to it, but you can't really get in it. It's probably can't fish either, man. It's a fucking shame. I want to fly fish that thing so bad. Put my waders on, get out in there. Get bit by a snapping turtle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, brother, do it. It's dark. Ain't nobody gonna see. Fuck no. I'm shot as hell. That ride up here sucks. Get that tree frog and put him on there. Yeah, he came out of nowhere, bro. It's not good when you start feeling more normal when you're smoking. <laughs> like, I li- I like, yeah, like, I literally feel like turned fucking on now. It's some good shit, though. That's like, nice. I fuck with it. It's not, it's not like, you know flower power but it's it's like it's it it's true, cool true. it's cool oh, shit. All the, i like the little delta shits now you know what i mean everybody's kind of on this wave then they ban it isn't it about to be illegal next year I don't think so. all right listen i'm sure your audience wants to hear about the 2018 hemp bill and the thca loophole yeah it's and by, i'm here to it, tell them about it. i know what you're talking about it's by weight not volume or it's by what volume not weight. right so what people don't know is Marijuana is a plant that has two phases. Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. WNC CBD, folks. Go check it out. Hell yeah. Basically, what he's trying to get at is the hemp and shit they be selling in the motherfucking CBD store. Plus, A+. Plus. You go get you a gummy, and that shit's hella big. 
that's hella big because you can only have 0.3% or less THC by volume. So they just give you a big ass fucking gummy. So now here's where the gray market comes in. The California growers out there know. They'll just send their shit and say, yeah, this is THCA. Yeah, no, they just do it. If you, the people who are allowed to send THCA in the mail, they get on a federal checklist that says, yeah, no, we're not going to stop any of your packages because we know what you're doing because you've gone through the testing. So they grow their plants, send it out a week into flower when it's only THCA. And the people who are at the lab testing it aren't seeing if it's done flowering in eight weeks or not. It's only yeah. been doing it for one. So they go, right, this has like nothing in it. Then the company goes, thanks. And they keep growing until it completes yeah. basically. Excellent. Yeah. Very, very happy with very how the world turned out. The, I mean, like it's been illegal so long, so many places. What? Legalize it. Yeah. Legalize it. it. Ain't nothing but a thing, man. It helps a lot of people out. It's sometimes it fuck with people, but that's on them. If they keep hard, doing that yeah. shit. Like hard work, good and hard work, fine. But first, take care ahead. Yeah. Aiden. No, 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 no. Are you sure? Ah. <laughs> Nah. You can if you want to. I'm not pressuring you. He got a yingling. He cool. Yeah, that yingling put me where I needed the fucking B2, dude. Hell yeah. You are so right. That Walmart brisket should not have gone that hard. That was so good. That Walmart brisket had no business being that good for $3.99. Damn. It did. It was cheap as fuck, dude. I think that was cheaper than the mashed potatoes. Saying that out loud is alarming. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what yeah, did they yeah, put yeah. in that meat? Those mashed potatoes are mad good. Those mashed potatoes are mad good. All the meat got roids in it. Yeah, that's true. That's why all them kids now be looking strange. These kids be out here bra. <laughs> the COVID ruined them. They the don't COVID. know how to play with each other no more. <laughs> they don't know how to like play on the playground, bro. Uh, you don't want him to go on my fucking boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> no, please go on a boomerang. Please. Uh, uh, give us a mini boomerang. Thanks, man. I hope the kids can play together. Kids deserve a yeah, they, I mean, like they need to like no good, man. They no fuck them all up. These kids, you, you ever hear the brain rot shit they be speaking? Dude, I've been watching Korean brain rot. Oh shit, <laughs> dude, it's music video. Dude, I will have to show you guys later. Oh, that, that, it, that dude is the weirdest fucking thing on earth. That sounds fire. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like uh, yeah, whatever. W Korean Riz, right there. <laughs> it's like w Korean Riz. W Korean Riz, right there. Damn, you made me feel old. Korean what up, Kale? edging. Korean edging? Yeah. I wonder if it's you know, different than you know regular what edging. Is yet? You know what? what? You know what gooning is? I know what gooning is, dude. Probably fucking gooner? Goon Squad. Goon Squad? I thought you were a Goon Yo, Squad. Yo, there was dudes hey. at Queens last year. These dudes at Queens. One dude would yell, Goon. The whole fucking... They'd be in like three they different pools. They'd go, Squad! Yeah. And they're like the RKDF guys from up north. They cool as hell. Yeah, they did that at Raleigh. Like <laughs> Fucking own car. Is this is it, <laughs> just in the window? I'll wait for the day that it gets legal, and then or wait for the day till I get out. We'll do a state for it. Even if it's legal, you'd probably be boned anyway <laughs> until you're out. No, you can't. Even yeah. if it is, Kale, I've been doing this for a long time. If you're not doing it now, there's no reason for you to. Yeah, <laughs> dude, 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 up, dog. Never you're start. not missing anything, dog. You aren't missing dude, shit. Let, let me tell you, you're not. You doing this? I'm having a great normal. time because I've been doing it for a while. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need to. I've been, been doing it for a while, and I usually <laughs> have an awful night. <laughs> <time. laughs> yeah, and that's a part of the problem, which I say cigar don't fucking do. Yeah. <laughs> that's why he shouldn't. Cigars are cool, <laughs> but I like smoking a good blunt. I like. I'm a blunt guy. I like rolling blunts. I like it's like it's like an art practice. It's an art form. I haven't rolled since I got down here. It's like brewing beer. Man. Uh, you need to uh, come visit me sometime <coughs> up in Colorado. My lungs, my lungs can't handle that shit no more. <coughs> you look like it. No, he didn't. He a lot. Not, not today. <laughs> no. I, like I couldn't believe the only thing he didn't smoke weed. I mean, I'm not surprised. Right. That yeah, you know, really he, he, he looked like he yeah, smoked weed. Like, yeah. Right. That's why I was like, I couldn't. <laughs> I get that all the time. You look like you smoke weed. I don't do it a lot. I knew this dude smoked weed when I walked in the door. I saw him and I was like, yeah, this dude's a fucking stoner. He's got the smile on his <laughs> yeah, what is it? Tell us a little bit about the bud. We this uh, apple fritters WNC CBD. Apple what, cider is it a hybrid WNC. or is it is it heavy indica heavy sativa? What's going on? With it? I think it's a hybrid. Oh yeah. That I being said, that being said, don't say anything about bud to sell to. Yeah, I don't really don't say like, anything to sell it to. It'll call it cherry cherry bunions and say it doesn't taste like feet or something. Yeah. Nah, this shit it tastes like, like feet. Like, why? So you don't fuck with the pins, and I I get why you told me. You know, I fuck with the pens. I don't buy them myself. 
Oh, well, then fuck with it. Tell me how you like it. Because that shit gives me ten times more stone than Bud ever will. And, like, because, like, after smoking that, I feel like I maybe ripped that ten times. And he need to go to bed, too. <coughs> oh, Yo, you're going to have to, you're going to have to chop out every single one of my fucking He's just calls. I'm going to, I'm going to do a call counter. Right. Oh, no. I'm going to do a call <laughs> counter on you. I will watch you're gonna every lose call counter. What is it today? <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Every time you call, I'm going to have a number on your side. And every time you cough, it's just gonna go up. Oh shit! <laughs> Bing! I dug you on home. Look, he's okay. coming. He's coming. No joke. I go like five feet closer, and it smells like apple cider. That's because he's had it. That, yeah, that's cider. the that's the vape dog. That vape is. Yeah, delicious. this smells like it's wedding cake. Don't have to smell that shit. Oh yeah, don't nicotine. smell that. No, fuck no. <laughs> no fuck. This is nicotine. I would, I stay with the vape in my hand. So this is wedding cake. Some people say it smells a little like uh, cinnamon to me. It's, t- it's fucking tasty, dude. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, let me get another pull. Woo! Pressure! Yeah, I got a fucking bug in my ear. I ain't fucking with it. It's just flying by. <laughs> you guys see that video of that girl with a slug in her eye? What? You gotta link me this so I can plug it in. My, my girlfriend told me. Cough counter. My girlfriend told me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do more. Three, four, five. Damn. <coughs> I, you're at like 40 right now. <coughs> my lungs are shot from this shit. That's Dude. another. Mine are too. Whenever I rip this, these hit. These choke you for some reason. I don't know why these choke you so hard, but because it has heavy metals in it, dog. Yeah. Okay. That's there you go. Heavy <laughs> Pull that mic. Pull that mic. Pull that mic. Pull that mic. Hello. <laughs> don't put it that close. It'd be ear rapey. <laughs> Swallow it. And... <laughs> that dude, is he going to green out? What the fuck? I don't know, but he's pop Bro, are you chilling? Four times now. Yeah, he... off how many times? How many off screens was that? Easily five. Five, all right. Five we're gonna calls, go six. Screen. Six for sure. Uh, these young, yeah, boys are, these young boys are hazing me. I'm starting to get defensive. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to adjust try to audio. age me, boy. <laughs> about to, I, dude, I wonder what the audio is going to sound like. I'm, I'm going to put this shit in the editor and like shit bricks. Like, I'm already, I'm already embarrassed. The- <laughs> I'm already embarrassed <laughs> by my fucking... Like, just running across this house. Yeah, what? Just the fucking exposed extension cords. Just chilling. Kale. I had to go around work. Don't you worry day. about them exposed extension cords. We got that shit handled. Bro, I had to go around work the other day and I had to go look at the whole vicinity, right? I'm going to be vague about where I work because we out here doing this shit. Uh, you work at a weed farm? Yeah, I work at a weed farm. Sure. <laughs> that's that's the story. No. Uh, I'm at work and so my job suddenly became go around and look for everything that would look fucked up if a customer walked in. <laughs> Mm. And you know it looked everything looked great. So uh-huh. I started asking. It looks people. great to me. Dude. So I started asking people. I'm serious. I, I went in a sh- the shoes of a customer, and I, so I asked some people some stuff, and it was very minor. But you know what got me? Well, the shitty cable management. <laughs> the, like everywhere I went, I saw a shitty cable management and took mm. a picture of it. Like that shit killed me. Nothing make you look trashier than bad cable management, boys. Yeah, no, tell straight you. up. Did you have cable bad cable terrible. management? Terrible. <laughs> terrible. My cable so management is terrible, dude. I look like shit out here right now. <laughs> yeah, no, fucking bad cable management is going to be the death of the whole United States. What what cable do you think it's going to start with? The one under the ocean <laughs> Yeah, that controls it. Nah, d- dude, right. I have sharks down there defending that shit. Don't worry. Oh, don't, 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 don't worry. Yeah. Cool. I didn't know you yeah, were sweating. I didn't know like that. Dude, don't, 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 don't sweat. My fault, dude. We got, we got our best men on that. This fucking yeah, wind's blowing. I wonder if that shit's picking up on my damn mic. The wind? Or the frog? I don't know. Both. This shit's going to sound. Or Kale. Kale's fucked, chirping though. with the frogs. Kale, chirp with the frogs for us. Holy shit. Nice. <laughs> it's the cicadas. Yeah, cicadas, dude, cicadas have been wild. I've been able to spot them sitting in the trees. I usually can't. Yeah. I've been finding all sorts of critters in my neighborhood lately. You recently. be like, you a creature of the night, bro? You be up late like that? I thought you were calling me like a gigolo. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck did you do? No! I think I'm selling. No! I'm just like, because we got a mixed house this time. Last time, everybody no, was in No, I, I should 11. be asleep. Got up at five today. Slept for four hours last night. Five hours the night before. I should be asleep. I should take a shower right now. Uh, it would be a good idea to go to sleep. I need to take a shower. I, I, I don't have. I don't technically have to. I don't have to fight till like five tomorrow. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. What time are you gonna fight? Like eight. Like are you tier B? Like eight. Yeah. 
I will get five. Yeah, yeah fuck with me. John. Ah, I, I, I earned my spot. That's how they get you. Man. That's, that's how they up. get you. <laughs> that means up. that I might have a good chance of getting top of tier B, which I'm like, True. You might do. You, I think you'll do really fucking good. Mm, I, really I have faith good. in you. So my boy Adam, it's his first. Oh, it's his second tournament, but he signed Sticking up for Queens and Raleigh together. together. He was seventh in rows at Queens, and he's a novice. Oh, did I tell y'all? <laughs> also, like after Queens, they emailed me and like, hey. You won the triathlon. We forgot to give you your rose. <laughs> nice. Congrats. So that, I'm supposed to get a, like a bronze medal for that or something. Yeah, I'll send it to you in the mail. Yeah, they, they were going to send it. I was like, I'm a bit miffed that it can't happen after. I didn't get my pop in circumstance. But. I think you were like, I'm not going to say you were like shit face somewhere, but you were pouring up that night. So <laughs> I was pouring up a lot of gin. This dude kept <laughs> buying <laughs> bottles like at the event. Shit. He was, yeah, yeah, it was limoncello. Like, it was limoncello. Like, because the. the the liquor store I went to for some goddamn reason doesn't sell beer or wine, so I had to get the hard shit. Well, yeah, it's a liquor store. Yeah, but yeah. usually a liquor store <laughs> has both. They'll no, still have beer liquor and wine. stores be so lame. Like just open up on Christmas. Kroger to get my I don't even drink, but Dude, you gotta leave one day in for Jesus. My God, boy. <laughs> hey, bro. At least, hey, at least water. one you day. Turn water into wine. You should have figured like that a, out yesterday, then, before the day of Christmas. I, correct you me if I'm wrong, but in SC, the liquor stores close on Sunday. Yeah. Y'all fuck around. They do. Is that real? Am I being for real? I don't know. I don't live there. <laughs> uh, you, you live there. I thought you were from South Carolina. Yeah, I don't know off the top of my head because I don't drink, though. True. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's just something I never picked up. Hello, Jenna. Yeah. Howdy. We're doing a little podcast. The frogs keep us company. Hell yeah. How's our noise level in there? Just pose and try to scare Connor. Oh, no. Is it working? Whoa. I, honestly, Whoa. I think the, 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 the frogs are so loud, so I think I, I figured we were good, yeah. We'll try We'll try to keep it moderate. We ain't going like Bahamian holler or nothing, so. I'm going to head in real soon take a nice shower anyway. Oh, yeah. Are the showers? Is this a bowl? Let me see so that. Little, yeah, go little, ahead. Little, I ain't little, we need 17 more on the cough counter. All right, I'll, I'll take one. I forgot I had it. I'll, take, I'll get one with you. I'll, long drag? How long? How many seconds? No, dude, don't. Don't do it. Don't kill yourself. Don't do it, dude. Yo, pride goes before the fall. Come on, dog. Tight French in him. Tight. I'm good. I'm him. He's him. Was he? Let's see what my cough counter is about to be at. Yeah, that thing, that thing caught me, dude. That okay. thing caught me. <laughs> Yo, I'm on that one. I'm one cough. You're an honest man. I didn't even hear it. <laughs> I mean, it was gonna come up on the video later, so uh, like, I was gonna get caught being a lion yeah. dick. Or, yeah, cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I can't see into the camera because I'm blind, so I'm just assuming the camera can't see me from that distance. Um, I'm going to be so upset it's, once it's like, facing us, yeah, so. it's facing us. Yeah, you see the little green light? That's the audio, so like we're cool. Do you have the mic on you when you walked over there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it picked up whatever the hell you said it did, but yeah, you weren't on camera. We are be on camera anyways. I always end these videos like in the worst lighting. I had a dude. I had a dude doom scroll and fucking uh, like hold up a flashlight in the last one. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, you might do you want to hold like a flashlight, bro?" And then he started doom scrolling, and the the shit kept hanging down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he was doing cool his fun shit in, dude. Hey, shout out Ash, bro. Ash is the shit. That's the man for real. Oh, <coughs> Queens was fucking cool. Two. Ah, uh, at two. Two. Two against seventeen. Uh, Greens was Easily you, more than seven. Yeah, I know, bro. That's, I know, dude. I know, dude. It's so bad. It's so bad. Listen, listen, listen. Everyone, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Sorry, boys. I'm being rude and crude. Yeah, 